Well, you know what? I think it's about time that we improve some land, because we haven't done that yet. No, but seriously. We're just kind of counting down the, the years now at this point. Just waiting for uh, our chance to end the game. I could go kill the Barbarian Leader, I guess, but... You know what? He's lived a hard enough life. He's just got losers that listen to him. Who wants losers to listen to them? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, Barbarians, when will you ever learn? Fusion power. Sweet! Yeah, future tech 5. No, I'm probably going to go... I'm not sure what I'm going to do. See, I'm still all confused about that. It should be future tech 1. That's a wee bit of a glitch there. But if I res research 5 and they let me research it, uh, I, rather it counts, I already count me having the first 4, the game will end because I'll hit future tech 5. That's one way to end the game. Is your science becomes so advanced that they just, you know, like, bow to your awesomeness. Like, okay, that's the game. Game! You know, it's like it's over. So, just to avoid that issue completely, here's a tissue. No, I'm going to uh, just not bother researching them. Normally, though, you'd research four because you get 20 points. Five per. And that's how you can get some extra points for your score, if you're a score whore. Babylonians want to make a Statue of Liberty while well, they're, like, what, about a thousand years late, roughly? I can't remember when I actually got that or not. 143 mil. Coming along. Coming along quite nicely. It's amazing how great this stuff gets. It gets to be so, so good. Alright, boys and ghouls. Boys and ghouls, you see. Should be boils and ghouls, maybe? I don't know. All I know is... That land mass really needs a lot of work. Holy crap. Like, we're talking an extraordinary amount of work. Greeks had a lot of bananas. Just random thought for the day, but they've had quite a few banana squares. And pheasants. Man, they had some very good special uh, area stuff. <clears throat> Whereas I live mostly off of uh, wheat and uh, whales. I guess that makes me better, but, you know, that's not that surprising. Hurry up and finish your mass transit. We don't need you polluting anymore. I'm sorry, I'm just struck by the music. I love this Tetris music. It's so good. It's going to be a short clip, though, because we're about to get the uh, awesomeness that is the Apollo Space Program. And then we have to switch to another song. Oh, if you're smart, you know what it is. You had to know that was coming. And now they've brought... Oh, and here's the whole breakdown. But they've brought back pictures from space. So yeah, structural is 80. Plastics is 160. And that's like... Um, they had to make 16 of those. Superconductors... Uh, 320, and you can make up to four of three different types, so that's 12. So 12 there, 16 of the components, and 39 structurals. As I was saying last video, here's why I went this route. I'm now going to go through each and every one. Oh, stealth, you're crazy. I'm going to go through and, uh, on every single one, do the old, uh, do the old, uh, pull them out and get them set. So, uh, once that's done, we'll start, uh, getting components for our spaceship, and we'll get to a spaceship screen, and, it'll, and I'll show you how to view that anytime and all that fun stuff. It's being, you know, being able to use and understand your spaceship, very important. So, yeah, combined total, you're going to need 39 structural, 16 of the component, and 12 of the, uh, superconductor. So that's, uh... Or, sorry, modules. That's 67 pieces you have to make. That is pretty crazy. And there's also a ton of shields going on. It's a huge undertaking. Thankfully, though, it's in such small pieces, you can do it for all kinds of places. See? Fuel and, uh... And then the modules have those. The, uh... Like, energy and everything else. Life support, panel. Uh, what else can we do? Oh, mass transit. Boom. And habitation, of course. Habitation is... <clears throat> each habitation is 10,000 uh, settlers. 10,000 people from your uh, population. 
And so by cheating, uh, well, cheating, cheesing, pardon me, cheesing my way through on the, uh, the modules like that, I've already got half of the hard stuff built. That's uh, the, 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 the biggest stuff. It's, it's pretty sweet. You can't deny the sweetness of the pretty goodness there. I think that was a good sentence one of Once Upon a Time somewhere, somehow, someway. Oh well. What can you do when you live in a shoe? And you can see, I've still been buying all kinds of improvements as well for other places. Getting them ready. Well, that one I didn't buy. And anyone who's up to a supermarket in the way I build, they don't need the help. They're already getting good production. Because they got everything else built, basically. Look at this, just coming along. It's pretty sweet. Now, what I used to do in the old day was I used to just put everything on structural. Once I built all the structural pieces, then I would just upgrade everybody to uh, to the uh, components. And then once components were finished, then I'd just upgrade what was left to the modules and build that way. It's not a bad way to do it, but it's really annoying to keep switching stuff and like, oh, it's already all built all you need, blah, 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 bullshit, blah, blah, you know? You don't need to be doing that. That's just ridiculousness. Let's see, this, this is why I cut out the building parts normally. I'm keeping it in here just to show you. Here we go. So you get to see, you got your structural, your propulsion, your fuel, your habitation, life support panel, population, how many years it'll take to fly there, and your chances of success. Now if you want to look at your spaceship or someone else's spaceship, you go into that menu, uh, world, and go to spaceships, or you press F12. And you can view anybody's spaceship, but they have to be building a spaceship to, to view it. Now, um, you may be saying, well, great, you know, they can't do anything about your spaceship then, and they can't build them themselves. Well, here's the thing. If they send, I think diplomats can do it, I know spies can. You can sabotage um, a other civil another civilization's spaceship. It's, it's difficult to do, this is a low percentage chance it'll work, but if you sabotage their spaceship, it destroys all the work they've put in on it, so... You could have a fully complete spaceship ready to go, you know, in the in the, the launching bay, and you just haven't bothered to bring it out yet and actually put it to work, and they can come in and destroy it, and you have to rebuild the whole thing. And I've only ever seen it work once, and that was a game where I was, uh, I realized that an opposing civilization may actually get to Alpha Centauri first and get all the bo- What? What do you mean I'm in range of their city? They built a city within range of me, that doesn't mean I have to move. You know, you know what? They need to get some troops in there, like right now. Seriously, look at all those barbarians. They don't get troop. Oh god, they're gonna lose that city. Anyway, so I purposely destroyed their uh, spaceship just to make sure they didn't get there first. Environmentalism, bunch of dirty hippies. That's right, combined arms. We're all about the military. So this time, it's only 1,288 years flight time with a zero percent chance of success. Hooray! The game kind of protects you from, you know yourself it will not let you launch a spaceship with a zero percent chance of, of success but as soon as there's a one percent chance of success they'll let you launch that piece of crap into the sky but here's the thing if your spaceship screws up on the way there well you have to start building a new one immediately if you want to try to get that ending and that can be a real problem if it blows up say like you know say it takes it 20 years to get there and it blows up at year 19 everyone else has been building and improving for 19 years well you can't build a second spaceship until the first one is reported as destroyed it's kind of obnoxious I know and uh, yeah something I don't know if I mentioned you assholes they're see they're gonna try to get into the uh, get into the uh, war here but the space flight space uh, space race pardon me but I'm not going to start a war because I'm trying to get an extra large... You dummies. Trying to get an extra large score. And there is... They've actually got two cities there. Look at that. Two barbarian cities. No wonder there's so many barbarians running around there. Here I was... Oh, we could launch it. 4%. I was giving the, the Greeks... Uh, or giving the barbarians not that much credit. They've got two cities down there. No wonder there's so many barbarians. And they could have a, had a third one, but that population of that city they took was one. So they just got destroyed when they went through and raped all the women. Way to go, barbarians. Way to go. Alright, so where was I? Oh yeah. The whole point is don't launch your spaceship until it's a very high percentage. Like 100%. I'm not sure what you need for a minimal uh, spaceship at 100% that it'll get there at a very speedy time. 
because I've always been, I always build, I, I build a pimped spaceship completely. I always go for the full spaceship, you know? It's all about the spaceship right now. But I don't think I'm going to get to launch that spaceship today because it's not near complete yet. There's still a lot of structural pieces to put into place, but we're getting modules and components out of the way pretty nicely. Pretty darn nicely. What do you guys want? You bunch of jerks? Huh? Man, we're just learning everything. Combined arms, yeah, environmentalism. Sweet. And how's the spaceship look now? 49%. It's a coin flip at this point. 18.3 years, but I'm not going to coin flip on that. That's just a little ridiculous. So I have to come back tomorrow to see what happens.